here we are looking at the sample of breast tissue. There are foci of adipose tissue here, here and here. But we also see quite prominent fibrosis with uh, multiple ducts. And those ducts are slightly irregular. Some of them are cystically dilated. And typically we do not recognize normal terminal duct lobular units as we would expect to see in normal breast tissue. Most of these ducts are associated with both epithelial and stromal proliferation. So we see this papillary epithelial tufting and also proliferation of uh, slightly myxoid stroma around the ducts. There is more than one layer of the epithelial cells. The epithelial hyperplasia can be quite florid and we typically see these finger-like papillary projections. So what is it? Is it some uh, carcinoma in situ or even invasive carcinoma with a dysmoplastic reaction? Well, not really. The most important clue to the right diagnosis is the fact that uh, we are looking at the male breast tissue. So this is a typical appearance of gynecomastia. It is a non-neoplastic enlargement of the male breast caused by hormonal imbalance. And in the, in the cases like that, we typically see prominent uh, proliferation or hyperplasia of the both epithelium and the surrounding stroma. Micropapillary ductal carcinoma in situ is an important differential diagnosis, but it would be associated with more prominent papillary structures without hyperplasia of the surrounding epithelium. Thanks for watching.